Hi, I'd like to continue the discussion of creating the to-do app. And uh, here I am in Xcode, and my app so far looks like this. Wait for it to load here. Okay, there we go. So, so far my app looks like this. It keeps track of some default to-do items, and you can add a to-do item here. New to-do. Thanks, right? Oops, let's spell that right. Um, and then uh, you can save it, and the new to-do appears here, and you can tap on a to-do to edit a to-do or make it completed, and then you can save that one, and it'll show a check mark, right? And then you can swipe to delete a to-do. Okay, so so that works pretty good. The problem is, you know, here I've, I've edited my to-do list, and if I quit the app and restart the app, you know, all that information that I created in the last instance of running the app is missing. So what I want to do now is I want to save the data, okay? And there's a couple ways you can approach this. Um, there's a feature called NS User Default, which is good for saving, you know, small amounts of information. And then there's Core Data. And Core Data is is sort of a big thing in the program, and you can use it for, you know, all your major needs. Um, core data is very complicated to work with. It's sort of like a database that's kept internally inside the program. Uh, it requires a lot of setup and it's it's very um, it's not very easy to work with. Um, I'm gonna actually use a third method for this project and that method is called Realm. And Realm is a database that works on um, on iOS, it works on Android, and I think it works on a couple other platforms too. You can read about it on their website. We're going to use it for iOS, and you can just go to the Realm. It's Realm IO, Realm.io. Okay, so you can go to their website and you can click the download button here to download Realm for iOS. Okay, so Realm, like they describe here, it's a replacement for Core Data essentially. Um, I like Realm; it seems to work really good, and um, it also uh, is very easy to work with. So unlike Core Data, which requires a lot of setup and is very complex to work with, uh, Realm is very easy. Um, there's just a few rules you need to follow when you use it, okay? So uh, so here we are in, in you know the Realm site. You can click Download. I've already downloaded Realm, so I have it on my desktop here. And uh, you know when you download Realm, it'll download a you know, a zip file, and you can unzip that into a folder, and in the folder here you'll you'll have a bunch of stuff, right? So there's, you know, the browser, and this Realm browser is a tool that lets you browse the Realm database that you might create with an app. So if you want to, you know, if your app is creating data, you can actually browse the data here and edit it and, you know, work with it, right? Um, I guess these are the docs, and then this is an example project done in iOS or one for OS 10, <clears throat> and then uh, in iOS, in the iOS folder here, this is the framework that Realm works with. Okay, the uh, the framework is, <clears throat> pardon me, is a pre-compiled set of code that's used by the program. So you know they pretty much wrote you know all the code for Realm, and then they compiled it into this framework. And now we don't have to compile it in our app. Instead, we just include the framework. There's a version of Realm for iOS, and then there's another one for OS 10. Okay, so that's in this folder here, the OS 10 folder. Um, I'm not sure what this plugin thing is. Um, and then in this folder for Swift, <coughs> the, this is a, a support file for Swift. So, you know, if you've used um, Objective C to create your app and you're using Re Realm, then you can just import the framework from for iOS and you're done. If you're writing your code in Swift, you need to include this file also. Okay, so let's talk about how to import Realm. It's it's pretty easy. I'm gonna go to my project here. Make the window a little bit smaller so I can get to this Realm window. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the iOS folder and I'll drag the Realm framework into my project like this. And the project is going to ask me, do you want to copy those items if needed? And I'm going to, and I'm going to answer yes, you know, by checking that box, and then I'll click finish. 
And what that'll do is it'll copy this file into the folder with my project. And there it is. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Swift folder here and we're going to grab this RLM support.swift file and drag it into our project. We're going to drag it into our project. Wait, let's do that one more time. Maybe I got to drag it up. Oh, there, there it goes. I guess I got to drag it up above here. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll make sure I check the box, copy items if needed. Okay, so now these two items are a part of our project. To make our project actually work with these, we have to make sure that they're added to the to the list of frameworks that this project is going to make use of. Okay, so to get to that, we'll go to this um, this first element here, which is our project file, right? So I'll go to there. And then you can see at the top here, it's got this general capabilities, info, build settings, and build phases. And what we want to do is we want to go to build phases here. And then there's an item listed here called link binary with libraries. Okay, so I'll open that up. And then you can see there's one item in here, and it says realm.framework. So great. So when I drag that in there, then Xcode saw it and added it to the list of, of libraries. Okay. In this file, the realm support is not a library, it's just a, a file with some Swift code in it, so that doesn't need to be listed here. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another framework. And realm, realm requires this other framework, it's the um, lib C++ dy lib, okay? I know it's a little weird. So we're going to type in lib C++ into the search box. So what I did there, let me do that again. I'm going to click on the plus button here, and then I'm going to type in lib lib C++, and then it'll give me three choices here, and we want this middle one. Okay, it's got to be lib C++ or lib C++ dot dy lib. Okay, and there we go. So now that one's listed there, and we're good to go now, okay? And if you want, like, here's the framework there. I'll, I'll drag it down here, and maybe, you know, I'll put, I'll put all, both of these items in a group and call it frameworks. And then I can, you know, maybe drag that up here into my project and drag this thing up here into my project, and then I'm organized. Okay, so, you know, if, if that all works, then, you know, you're, you're good to go, and you should be able to click your project, and it's not going to save any data yet, but we shouldn't see any errors, okay? So there we go, and from, from here, we'll, we'll finish, I'll make another video, and we'll finish the rest, but that will get you started, okay? We got to first import or download the Realm Framework, import the Realm Framework, import the RLM support Swift file, and then also import the lib c++.dylib, okay? And then we're ready to start.